today I'm joined with the wonderful, the amazing, the incomparable, Jonathan Joanne Elizabeth Sims, um, who is, you know, um, who is the uh, mastermind behind the virtual reality experience of Zero Dentist. Hello, sir. Hey. How much more complicated is it moving from 2D to virtual reality to 3D? Like making a video, a regular right. video versus like constructing, a, like making a, a virtual reality experience. Well, it, think of it more, think of it more like, uh, like immersive theater, right? So like, um, there's no editing, right? So instead of creating a single frame and choosing, you know, what images to show your viewer through an editing package, um, that's gone. Right. So right. instead of making a frame that changes and tells a story, you need to make it in a whole environment that has things going on no matter where you're looking. So, you know, you never know if your audience is going to be looking at you or looking up or looking behind you or looking to the left. Right. Or the left. You can do things to try to like encourage them to look in a certain place, but yeah. it's a responsibility to really create a whole immersive world that's interesting no matter how you engage it. Um, so that's, I think, the to, from like a creator standpoint, that's like yeah. the, the, the biggest thing is making something that is truly a world that isn't just in front of you, it's behind you, it's, it's, it's right. above you. Um, yeah. So that's that's like, pretty, sounds challenging. Uh, it's, I mean, I guess that's what we look at. It's also kind of exciting, you know, you get to decide, you get, you get to decide um, what the what the world is. Now you have to tell me about the, because when, when we were shooting this video, I, 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 I remember, like I'll never forget the look of that camera. Mm -hmm. Like what the fuck was that thing? And usually like when I'm on, I've been in on enough like video and film sets where I'm like, I kind of, I know what that thing is and know what it does and I know what we're yeah. doing. <laughs> I felt like it was a, it was such a different world. Like what the hell was that thing? So that's, yeah, it's a lot, it was a lot of tech. That's called a, it's a, it's a stereoscopic camera. So this, our project was shot. Stereoscopic. In stereoscopic, which means there's a camera for the left eye and a camera for the right eye. Um, engineering technical reasons, those cameras can't be like this because we have to be able to choose how far apart they are. So using very, very precise mirrors and, and prisms, there's a camera pointed up and a camera pointed this way. And then the image coming here gets bounced down into the camera underneath you. And that lets you actually align the images precisely. And that lets us control the volume of what, how, how big you're going to feel in 3D when people watch it in a, in a, in a visor. Um, mm -hmm. This is the technology that, you know, Star Wars and Avengers and all that stuff is shot on. It's a really advanced rig and uh, radiant, uh, which is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was like, because there was a, the uh, the portion of the day where I was like looking right into it. Yeah. I noticed that, like the whole yeah. the, the mirror thing it's is too, wild. It's really complicated because it's two, it has to be two images that are synced up exactly, which is why there are all those screens, is because uh -huh. we have to make sure that they're both exactly in the right place. Um, mm. uh, so it's, um, that is how, like there's, like iPhone does stereoscopic stuff now, but most, most mobile phones do it. Uh, but the way we did it is really how serious stereoscopic films like Ready Player One was shot like this, James Cameron shoots like all, all, all these things. So that's really exciting that, that now- We're in know, good company. <laughs> yeah, well, well, well they, wait, now there's, a, there's a, Katya is, is, is standing next to Avatar and- uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, honey. We're stereoscopic now. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait. So, talk to me about. Okay, talk to me about the experience of this of our, our music video. And do you need one of these? Yeah. 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 So these and these run you what about three hundred dollars? Three hundred. Three hundred. Four yeah, hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. I. This is my first time ever putting one of these on, like a couple weeks ago. And I love it. We should put that. We should give it. I know. I really should. Or put like some Cronenberg body horror stuff on it. I know. I know. So just big bloodshot eyes. <laughs> um, well, I just, it, it's so overwhelming uh, to, to put it on for the first time. Um, because I had, I don't know, like I'm almost 40. I had this like really cheesy idea of virtual reality in my head from like, you know, decades ago where it's all like, I don't know. Um, but this is like, I mean, it's so beautiful and it's so, it really is immersive and it's, it's kind of overwhelming. Um, and when people see the, the giant, you know, images, the crisp, beautiful three-dimensional images of me ripping out my teeth, it's, it's pretty, it's a lot. 
I'm very, I'm very happy with what we got. And yeah. I'm hoping that what this piece does is that it does kind of unsettle people, but also, um, you know, <laughs> I, I want to ride that line of like, horror and like wonder, you know what I mean? Like I want yeah. them to like, what? I want them to like re reach out to take it off because it's horrifying, but they don't because they're like, oh, it's actually really pretty too. Like Yes, yeah, totally. I think that's a really good, that's a good, uh, those are two good worlds to straddle. <laughs> I think that people are gonna be able to engage this regardless of what platform they have. Yeah. But I think really, if you can find an HMD, if you can find it in Oculus, it, it, it's really gonna blow you away and be something you haven't seen before. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, man. It's cool. Well, I, yeah. I can't wait to uh, receive lots of bloody teeth in the mail. I'm going to forward them all to you. <laughs> cool. That was my favorite part of this of shooting was when was when you're spitting the teeth oh, out. Yeah. And, like, I think somebody just kind of offhandedly was like, why do you have so many teeth? And you're like, oh, well, my fans sent them to me. <laughs> they were all fan teeth. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that. All fan teeth submitted through the mail, through the USPS, and um, yeah, I have a lot of them, too many of them. They're, yeah, big you know, giant ones. It is okay. just, that is disturbing, but it's actually probably the least disturbing way to get human teeth. I think so. Yeah, you don't want them just showing up on your doorstep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, well, thank you so much, Jonathan. Yeah.